Ready, set, go! just burnt my neck up. This would be all over my body if I wasn't that much lucky. It sucks, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. There's two different radiations. There's the old school one and the new power one, like electronics more. It's scary getting like your first poke in your port. It like does flushes and like get your chemos through it. Come here. Always something that she's really liked to do because she doesn't hurt. Even before they removed part of the tumor, it was the only place she could really play. This is actually something that she's just started having to wear because the chemo has caused some muscle weakness and so she falls more often now. She likes them. She's embarrassed if her friends are over. She sometimes does not want to wear them in front of them. at Mimi's and when I had no hair she 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 would lay on my head and mommy would tell her to get off my head and she would say and Elsa would say no. I used to always wake up go get shots. I didn't want to see the dirty so I did that and I and they never saw me. They went back out of the womb. Cancer completely changed my life. And actually, three times, I wasn't quite sure that the side effects wasn't going to be the thing that actually took me out. I knew what I was going through, and I couldn't fathom a child going through cancer. And I would see commercials on TV, and I would see little bald heads, and they were just faces to me at the time. So in 2014, things had settled down, and I wanted to be a blessing to them. And I had been praying and asking God what to do. And when you've been kicked down and you've had a cancer diagnosis, I don't believe there's anybody out there that can remain the same. I wanted to do something. I wanted to give back. And the people that I wanted to be a blessing to and help was children. I wanted to give them hope. And I'll be honest with you that in the beginning, it was about a book, and it was about me giving back to bless them. But I've been the one that's been blessed. I feel like that God has called me to do what I have been doing for the last five years. I know, because my mommy told me 
I'll feel better soon. But I know this. After I'm free of cancer, it's a chance, two chances, that I can lose my leg. Every single morning I wake up, I pray. Every single night I pray. I just pray about cancer. The thing about Kendall, she was so, so sick. To see Kendall today and know where she was, she's living her normal life being a child. Real high, real high, okay. Ariel, do you solemnly swear that you will be awesome each and every day that you will mind your parents and do your best in school. Also, you'll be kind and considerate to others, share your toys, and always play fair. You will also help your other officers by reporting any bubblegum thieves that you see and help keep your community safe and a good, safe place to live. Do you agree to that? All right, congratulations, you're a Paducah police officer. You know, I always ask the children, what do you want to be when you grow up? And when I asked Ariel, she said, I'd like to be a police officer, and I also would like to be a child cancer doctor. You gotta have a reason to get up in the morning. Everybody needs a purpose. And I, I want the children to think about tomorrow. I want them to think about what they're gonna be doing, you know, when they grow up. Cancer is just a name. It's not a sentence. It is just a word. And I don't want cancer to have them. I want them to think about their futures. I want them to faith dream. That's what I tell them. And the longer I do it, the more passionate I become about helping the families. This year we have five children and we have a couple more that's made contact recently. The need is great. We want to be able to help them. We want to help more. It might take somebody's $20. That might be the $20 that's the make or break for a family. So if you think about that, if we take our causes down, if we take our banners down, if we take everything down and strip it all away and get down to the nitty gritty, if we all come together to try to help these families and try to do something for childhood cancer research. Can you imagine the force we would be to reckon with? It would be amazing. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.